Well, we begin in Egypt where the headlines are still screaming out of the country with more violence erupting after security forces stormed a mosque in central Cairo, occupied by supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi. The violence has killed over 600 people. State media says the security forces have taken full control of the Fatah Mosque, where hundreds of pro-Morsi protesters have been barricaded inside overnight. Egypt's state news agency says Egyptian prosecutors have placed 250 Muslim Brotherhood supporters under investigation for murder, attempted murder and terrorism. Egypt's presidential spokesman said the country is fighting a war against terrorism. And the Egyptian interim prime minister, Hazem el-Beblawi, has proposed dissolving the Muslim Brotherhood in a move that could force it underground and usher in mass arrests of its members nationwide. Hazem el-Beblawi said there is no chance of reconciliation with people who violate the law. We want reconciliation, but there will be no reconciliation with those who have blood on their hands. There can be no reconciliation with those who raised arms against the state, its people and institutions. No state can move forward with this kind of fracture.